welcome back to Happy Hour with Heather and Guest. This is episode number 118. I'm that other dude, Andrew, and as always, I'm joined by Heather. Hello. And today, it was my turn in the rotation, so I went with another band that has subsequently split up, um, but I liked shining a spotlight on a group whose music I think deserves to be heard by a lot of people. Uh, and, and I certainly wasn't familiar with this group. Um, their name is Aleph Null. They are from Dusseldorf, Germany. And I think they were together from 2012 to 2017. Um, and I believe I found them because I was looking for like stoner sludge doom music that should be on my radar. And somehow they were... I don't know if it was like a a best kept secrets type thing or here's a band you should know about, but that's the the impression I got was that they should be in your playlist. So that's why I brought them to the table. So what did you think of Aleph Null? Wow. I like them very much. Um, End Time Sisters was their latest release and that was in 2016 and I listened to their other three releases as well, but I wanted to focus on End Time Sisters. It has a really low tone and is quite heavy. Even though it's so heavy, it also has a lot of melodic moments in it too. And if you like heavy bass, this definitely is for you. They also use synthesizer, which gives the songs an eerie sound. And The bass guitarist mixed with the synth is quite a unique sound, and I really like the range of the vocals, but I mostly like how heavy sounding this record is. It's really heavy and really dark, and I realized your post showed the album Nocturnal, so I thought I should speak a little bit about that one too. It also has, it's also very heavy and it has a lot of distortion, and I thought it sounded really sludgy. I picked up on some 90s style alternative metal. It kind of reminded me of Helmet a little bit. And this music holds up. It's just as relevant today as it was 10 years ago. And it makes me wonder what their music would sound like today if they were to get back together and release another album. Um, Hopefully it would be just as heavy and just as kick ass. Yeah, I was... um... Not surprised, like I didn't really know what to expect because I had put in, you know, the Doom Stoner Sludge. And yeah, this was very much a sludgy low. I got the feeling when I was listening, I I listened to Nocturnal. I just went with the full length album that they've released. And uh, I felt like I was standing watching lava slowly, slowly like engulf a town. Not the fast moving lava, but just really slow moving lava. Um, That's the sense I got. So um, when I uh, when I wanted to find out what the name Aleph Null meant, I went to my old pal's old Urban Dictionary, (laughs) and Aleph Null is the first and smallest infinite integer. Every other cardinal before it is finite. Although infinity isn't a number, it is the amount of numbers there are. We just so happen to call it Aleph Null. Aleph Null is also the first inaccessible integer in existence. The only things that can go past it are ordinal numbers such as omega. And then the example they gave was, we counted for literally forever, but never got to Aleph Null. So I guess or this time Urban Dictionary went with it with the actual definition so aleph null is is infinity um and yeah they they on Bandcamp write that they're stoner sludge from dusseldorf uh so this is in keeping with my german exports um they were together from 2012 to 2017 and nocturnal was released in 2014 um what was interesting is the track backwards spoken rhymes You know, you had mentioned part of a, uh, like a 90s alternative metal sound uh, with some synth and stuff like that. Um, 
there is a section of the song that sounds exactly like the music from the Nintendo game Castlevania. And all it reminded me of was when I would do a fistful of faceful and have my mother on as a guest, her go-to phrase was this sounds like Metroid, the Nintendo game Metroid. So I just, I, I was very pleased to have a Castlevania reference in this music. Um, and then I think that the sleeping God is my, was my favorite because even though it's, got a sludge tone there are some alternative and progressive uh chord progressions to it like it's 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 not your typical like new orleans style sludge that's just a ton of distortion um and the the chorus one of my favorite lyrics was through morphine swamps i glide into the muzzle of a sleeping god so just provocative um and then the track Stronghold, this is where Urban Dictionary finally paid off. So uh, the, the definitions for Stronghold, which you, know, you would imagine would be something like where you would keep valuables or an impenetrable fortress. So Stronghold, to grasp something abnormally tight until it either explodes, turns blue, uh, is crushed, or soothes, sometimes all four. Uh, <laughs> here we go. This is how all blind girls should hold their boyfriend's dicks whilst furiously trying to brush a spider off it. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then they give you the example of Stifler was caught in a lesbian stronghold in American Pie 2. The way Peter Parker has to hold his dick to do wee-wee in that red suit. <laughs> and then a place where hidden things are usually found. So that's the... And then, <laughs> and then there's a conversation between a father and son where the son says, Dad, I've noticed that you have no testicles. <laughs> Explain. And the father says, they're in your mother's stronghold, son. Mm. And the son says, her handbag, Dad? And the father replies, yup. So... So yeah, we're getting a lot of various, and there's really no, absolutely no relevance to me talking about Stronghold, other than it's the excuse to <laughs> mention all this stuff. So, um, and then yeah, Nocturnal, uh, sleeps during the day, awake at night. Why is Nash eating fruity pebbles at three a.m.? Gosh, he's so nocturnal. Um, and then this was my favorite one because it reminded me when I was uh, in my early 20s, I played the game GoldenEye on Nintendo 64 with friends of mine. And we would play multiplayer where you would basically uh, all, you know, it'd be like a shoot em up. You know, you'd try and kill the other people. And um, uh, when you laid in wait for somebody and were hidden, we called it perching. And it was always very frustrating when you were killed by someone who was perching. So in, in this, for uh, Nocturnal, when you're playing Black Ops and you're shooting someone and a guy on your team is behind you and steals your kill. And then the example is, yo, I was actually shooting this dude and this douchebag behind me Nocturnal to my kill. It just brought me back to my early 20s playing... Uh, Yep, I think I've probably spent a good 10% of all this conversation talking about the band and 90% just <laughs> whack philosophical. But what was, yeah, I mean, if, if, I, if there's anything you should come away with that could be useful, aside from me just blathering on, it's that Aleph Null gives you all the elements of sludge metal that's really heavy, really slow, but it's not like the traditional sludge metal you would get from, let's say, like Melvin's or the New Orleans scene, where it's just really, really low and dark. You know, this had some really, like you had mentioned, really melodic moments. Um, the vocals are more on the harsh side, but they're not growling. They're not, they suit the music really well. Um, so 
I'm going to go back and do a deep dive on the rest of their music. I only listen to the full length album. Uh, I'll have to listen to the most recent release, but, um, but yeah. And I, and I also was glad because, you know, the last couple of bands we've listened to have been more of the psychedelic space rock type of stoner. So I feel like this was a nice counterbalance to that. Something really yeah. slow, slow and low. Yeah. Yeah. Sludgy and like it's like <laughs> I I I like to think like you're on one side of the room, I'm here, you're on the other side of the room. And then I'm like trying to wade through like thick mud to try to get to oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> that's like sludge. That's like sludge. <laughs> yeah, this was and it, what's really cool about this, again, you know, if you listen to like Crowbar or Acid Bath or something, you're going to get like really slow and really distorted and really sludgy, hence the name, music. Um, and you'll get melody too. But what was cool about this is I felt like there was more, it was more progressive. Like I, I felt like there were parts where if Tool was a sludge band, you might, you might, that might be a good analogy for it. So it'd be interesting to see what these musicians are up to, if anything, now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I wasn't, I didn't look into what they're currently doing. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was a great, that was a great full length album. Um, yeah. You know, there were no, no tracks that I that I was like, yeah, I'll skip this one. This sounds derivative of previous. You know, it was all it really went together well. So I'm looking forward to doing the the EP, the last EP. And this came up when you 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 were doing a Google search, and this came up for you. Is that how I you think, found I it? Think, yeah, I think there was this was like a on a top ten list. You know, because I'm always. We were talking about this uh, off mic, but like you have a pretty sizable wealth of music to pull from. Um, and I do too, but sometimes I just like going onto the internet and asking them like, hey, who should I be listening to right now? Who's like either a good contemporary band that I can follow or who's someone I may have missed from back in the day? Um, you know, and sometimes I'll just happen to, like Blind Dog was one of those bands where I just heard one of their songs and was like, oh, yeah, this is let me look into this band to see if they're still around. Um, this was where I just put that question out into the universe and they delivered Aleph Null. Um, so, you know, I remember so there were other bands who I who I was familiar with whose music I may not have listened to, but I at least knew like, oh yeah, I've heard of this band. I've heard, but I'd never heard of Aleph Null. And there were enough people who had commented about it that I was like, oh yeah, I probably should listen to them. Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting that it, it came up as a band that you should be listening to. And the, their last album was in 2016. And it does. It, it just. It does. It makes me wonder even more now <laughs> what they're up to. What you know, sure. what they're doing. If they're still involved in music at all. Well, you know, it's, I mean, it, 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 it. Like you said, it is a testament to how timeless that that the music still stands up eight years after the out. You know, eight. However, a decade after the album came out. Um, yeah, and people are still recommending that you listen to it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But um yeah, I mean this this the the internet and the and music is such a vast landscape that I'm sure there are tons of these bands out there who've released albums you should be listening to and it's up to me and you to find them and present yeah. them to the world. Yeah. So challenge accepted. <laughs> I can think of one. I can think of one that maybe I will put it on the calendar <laughs> and <laughs> we can yeah. we can we can revisit it. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a band that 
they're not together anymore, but they put out some really awesome albums. Sure. That sounds kind of great. In the, kind of in the stoner, you know, genre. So Yeah, I think, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's a lot of fun to talk about contemporary bands that are still together that are putting out e-music. Um, and I think there's also that category of, you know, bands who are no longer together, but have album, have music you should know about. Yeah. So Yeah. I absolutely. And it's, and it's, and it's kind of a bummer that they're not together anymore, but it's yeah. still, it's but, still nice. You know, we can at least share the music. music that they've made. Yeah, definitely. So. Yeah. And appreciate cool appreciate what they did you know absolutely while they were together absolutely yeah so yeah i would recommend i think heather would recommend i don't want to talk for you but <laughs> check I out Null. it's worthwhile if you're into sludge if you're into just good music yeah yeah look especially like if the music that you gravitate towards is on the lower, like the tone is on the lower side, then I think this will definitely resonate with you. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, that that's it for me. Um, that's all I got. I mean, I probably could think of more unrelated stuff to talk about, but <laughs> I'll say I'll save everyone for today. <laughs> Go back to that urban dictionary. And oh my God. I, I I will be back with so many more <laughs> unnecessary things to discuss. But um, either way, go check out Aleph Null and we'll be back next week. It'll be your turn in the rotation. Yeah. And next week we're going to be speaking with the van. So that's going to oh, be nice. fun. That's going to be yeah. great. All right. Well, I will. Uh, we will see you next week, everybody. Have a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. Bye.